Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to share my recipe with you how to make crispy sweet jalapenos. We're going to take a couple pounds of jalapenos. If you've just got a handful and you want to make this, you could make this recipe in any size or any batch. But today I've got a couple of pounds. I'm going to use to take my mandolin slicer, put on my Kevlar glove so I don't cut the tips of my fingers off, and we're going to set it on a quarter inch slice and we're going to slice up these jalapenos. After we get all these jalapenos sliced up, they're going to be soaked in a lime solution. This lime solution is what crisp them up. They're going to need to soak in the lime solution overnight or 12 hours. For every two quarts of solution you need to soak your jalapenos, you're going to use a half a cup of hydrated lime or pickling lime. Where I don't know if pickle crisp will work with this. I've been asked that. I've never used pickle crisp. Uh, this is called Mrs. Wages Pickling Lime. Uh, that's what I use, or I get hydrated lime on Amazon in the five pound bags. Mix up the lime well and pour it over your sliced jalapenos. After you get these soaked or you allow them to soak for 12 hours you're going to rinse them well so take a few out of the bowl at a time or your container at a time and rinse them in cool water because the next process is they need to sit in a bath of ice water for three hours so you're going to after you soak them in the lime solution for 12 hours you're going to rinse them well and then you're going to soak them in an ice bath so what you'll do is you'll rinse them a few at a time when you get them all rinsed Add a little water because you do want the, all of them to stay wet and then layer some ice in there and pile a bunch of ice on top, on top that will last them for three hours. Uh, when you're doing pickling, you need to use either food grade plastic or stainless. Uh, you can use enamel as long as there are no cracks in the enamel. We're going to place a plate on top that will fit in the bowl. So it keeps them submerged in the lime solution for the 12 hour time period. So they've soaked in the lime, now we've got them rinsed well, and we're gonna add our ice bath. After the ice bath is done, you'll drain off all the water, take all the ice cubes out, there's any left on top, remove them out of there, because you don't want any water in your pickling solution. Okay, for every cup of vinegar that you use, you're going to add a cup of sugar. This is what makes the sweet syrup in with the jalapenos. I actually had a quart left over from the last time I made them, so I'm going to reuse part of that quart that I had left over. I had some left over, so I just went ahead and canned it. A lot of people use this for marinade over meats and things like that. So if you, got, if you want to make a little extra, make some extra using a marinade. But whatever you have left over, you can can it just like you're doing the jalapenos. Put a lid on it, tighten it down, put it in the cabinet, take it back out next time you make them. That way you're not wasting any vinegar and sugar. We are going to put it on the stove and heat it. We're going to bring our vinegar to a boil before we add our jalapenos to the vinegar solution. You do want to make sure that you've got this completely melted. So since my other is already melted, I'm going to take the time to melt the sugar in the vinegar before I add my other quart. Uh, that's probably what would be considered about a gallon sized container of sliced jalapenos. And you probably think that doesn't sound like enough juice, but it actually is. I actually had about 10 ounces left over. This is what I had left over from the last time. I use a sugar called Marino's All Natural Sugar, so it doesn't stay as clear. So if you want your juice to be clear, uh, that's fine. Go ahead and use regular white sugar, but I use an all natural sugar that hasn't been processed. We're going to bring this to a rolling bowl before we add our jalapenos to it. Okay, we've got it at a bowl. Now we're going to dump our jalapenos in. We're going to bring it back up. When it comes back up to a rolling bowl, similar to this, we're going to cook it an additional five minutes. You'll be able to see that when they're cooked because they'll actually change from this colors from this bright green to a darker, duller green color. 
you'll know that they're done. I did rake all the seeds that were in the bottom. I did rake them over into the juice because I want these to be a little bit hotter than my last ones. I'm actually going to add a, some red pepper flakes also to bring the heat up. They really do turn out on the mild side. So a lot of times when you buy these in the store, and these burgers are expensive. The other day I looked and they were $8 a pint. Um, they'll put a, a cayenne in the center of the jar and then pack the peppers, these jalapeno peppers around it. And that cayenne pepper is what keeps them hot. We're just kind of press them down in the cooking solution. That way we know they're cooked. We've got it came back up to our bowl, so we're going to set our timer for five minutes. I've cut them down a little bit because I don't want my pot to boil over. That would be a mess. I have to clean up vinegar and sugar. I will list a recipe below that you can go by. Um, it's going to list things in quantities. Uh, probably doing what would be about a pound at a time. Uh, it's really super easy. It's not rocket science. So you just make up however much of the lime water that you think you need. Make up the minimum amount of the vinegar solution that you need. If it's not enough, then take a separate pot and boil you another cup of vinegar and another cup of sugar. It's not that big of a deal to pour it over the top of them. Once they're done, we're going to have our, our lids hot, our jars clean and sterile and ready to go, and we're going to start ladling, ladling our uh, jalapenos into the jars. And then after we get the jalapenos in, we'll add the um, juice on top of them. I'm adding about a tablespoon of the red pepper flake because I did want to bring the heat up a little bit. If you would like them a little bit milder, then don't add any red pepper flakes. They really do have a lot of nice flavor. I've got some that will be on the mild side that we'll use in certain foods, and I've got some that I wanted these to be a little bit hotter. So I'll label these and know that they're from a hotter batch so we know they're going to be hotter than our normal batch that we usually make. They do need to cook the full five minutes after you bring them back up to a full bowl. But you'll be able to tell they're done because you're going to see them actually change colors in front of you. So once that color changes, then you've got about um, two or three minutes. This is how I just wanted to show you how much juice I had left. I had that much juice left over. Um, Let's so say we're going to drain our jalapenos, put them in the jars, and I actually took the end of my wooden spoon and kind of pushed them down a little bit to try to pack them in the jars a little bit heavier. That's probably why I had so much leftover juice. But you do want to try to fit as much as you can in each jar that you make. It's just less jars that you use and less juice that you actually need. Like I said, we're going to fill them, pack them down a little bit, add the juice on top, leaving a half inch head space, put on our hot lid and ring, and you're going to tighten it down as tight as you can do it by hand. This is going to seal your jar. And you do want to use, like I said, the hot boiling solution that you're putting in the jar. So be careful. Have a hot holder handy, something that if you need to grab the jar to tighten it up that you can use. That will keep you from burning yourself because they do get hot pretty quick, the jars do. These really do turn out nice. I actually figured out how to make these about <clears throat> five or six years back and actually found a jar of some of the first ones I had made that was like five years old and they were still good and just as crispy as they were the day that I'd made them. This isn't a real 
sugary, sugary solution. So if you want them really syrupy, you could probably add an extra half a cup of sugar for each cup of vinegar, but they're sweet enough. We left a half inch head space. We're gonna add our hot ring and lid to the jar. Then we took a pot holder and grabbed it from the bottom and tightened it down as tight as we could. And this is what they look like when you're done. They really do turn out nice. I hope you enjoy the recipe. If you haven't joined our channel, do so by subscribing. Click on the little notifications bell. And don't forget to check the, the like sign on the video. Uh, that helps us out also. Do the little notifications bell. Then get notifications when any new videos that we post come out. This is the Pressured Prepper, and I'm out.